Hello students, this is a video to accompany task one, um, the Petrifilm whole leaf versus pre-cut salad leaves experiment. First thing I'm going to do is sterilize the bench and also my hands. to dry before continuing. And so hold up one sheet of petrofilm and without lifting the clear protective sheet, observe that its front side has grid lines. We've got the back here where we'll be putting our label. So use a stick on label to label the back of the petrofilm sheet with your name, the date and experimental control. Draw exactly one mil of distilled water into a pipette. So, experimental control is not going to get exposed to any of the salad. It's only going to have distilled water. This is normal for an experimental control. And it will eventually accompany our samples into the incubator. Next, we need to introduce some lettuce. Weigh out 100 grams of whole salad leaves using an electric scale. Now, we've got a whole lettuce here, still got the roots attached, so it's essentially a live plant. I ripped off some of the leaves way down low near the roots earlier to about 100 grams. A little bit over, but I just think that's because they're wet. Place the whole salad leaves into a Ziploc bag. Got to get a rather large Ziploc bag to make this work. With 100 mils of distilled water. <laughs> So I'm using a measuring cylinder to measure my water and we want exactly 100 mils of water to exactly 100 grams of lettuce. That's just going to go in there. We haven't washed these or anything. They're probably washed at the farm, but there's a little bit of dirt and insects and stuff you would expect. That's all part of the test. And now what I'm going to do is collect some of the water from inside this Ziploc bag that has been exposed to the lettuce leaves, the whole lettuce leaves. Use a stick on label to label the back of the second petrofilm sheet. Your name, the date and whole salad leaves. So. Got a fresh petrifilm sheet. Fresh petrifilm sheet straight out of the packet. And a fresh pipette. Each time you use a pipette in microbiology, you should discard it so that it doesn't impact on your results. Draw exactly one mil of the whole salad leaves water sample into a pipette. <clears throat> and same process as with the control, except now now our one mil of distilled water has been exposed to the lettuce, the whole lettuce leaves. Next, we need a third petrifilm to test one of these supermarket packets. You can see it's the same product, it's lettuce, except that this has been sliced up and put into a packet for people who feel they don't have time to 
chop it themselves. So repeat steps 13 to 24 using a third petrofilm labelled pre-cut green salad. <clears throat> So, we need our electric scale again, because these are sliced up, I might need to weigh them directly into the Ziploc bag, it's a little more, they're a little more clumsy being in little pieces. Five, ninety-five. Okay, one hundred grams. Same weight as the whole leaves. I've touched both with my hands. The Ziploc bags are both. Uh, brand new, same brand, haven't been used for anything else. And once again, I want 100 mils of water, distilled water, to the 100 grams of lettuce. This time the lettuce is chopped. It's impossible to know exactly when it was chopped unless we were to... Um, contact the supermarket and ask them to speak to the supplier, but its point is it's been chopped off-site and sold in a packet, <clears throat> whereas the lettuce, the lettuce that I did on the previous Petrofilm has still had the roots attached and uh, people would chop that at home in their kitchen. <clears throat> Stick our label on. Once again, get a third new pipette. Got our one mil mark just here. And the process is the same as with the previous two. I'm going to try and center that water as best we can, just makes things a bit cleaner, makes counting a bit easier. Okay. Place all three petrofilms into a clean Ziploc bag for incubation at 35 degrees Celsius. Results should be available in approximately two days. So just to recap, we've got three petrofilms. First one is our experimental control. That will go into the incubator along with our whole salad leaf sample and our pre-cut salad leaf sample. And um, we'll be able to count the colonies that grow on these and uh, make an assessment as to which is cleaner or dirtier. Thank you very much.